Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. First, the Talking About Where You Live PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to say where you live, how close or far your place is, and master over 20 words and phrases inside. Two, struggling to remember the words you learn? This one minute lesson reveals all the easiest ways to improve your memory and boost your vocabulary. Third, the top 10 sentence patterns for beginners. If you struggle making your own sentences, you'll need this. This free lesson teaches you the most common grammar patterns and how to use them. Fourth, the top 15 phrases for bad students for the new school semester. You'll learn to say phrases like fail a class, procrastinate, and much more. Fifth, the 50 adjectives to describe your personality PDF workbook. This workbook teaches you the 50 must-know adjectives for personalities, so you can talk about yourself in your target language. And sixth, want an app that teaches you the language through conversations? Download Innovative Language Learning for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. You'll unlock bite-sized lessons that teach you practical conversations and get you speaking in minutes. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Swahili. Hi everybody, my name is Getty. Welcome to the 800 Core Swahili Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Swahili. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you've learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at swahilipod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Swahili. Okay, let's get started. First is nchi, country, nchi. Nchi, country. Wananyumba kubwa nchini. They have a big house in the country. Wananyumba kubwa nchini. Kijiji, village. Kijiji, kijiji, village. Nilikulia katika kijiji kidogo. I grew up in a small village. Nilikulia katika kijiji kidogo. Jiji, town. Jiji, jiji, town. Ninataka kutembea jijini. I want to go for a walk in town. Ninataka kutembea jijini. Mtaani, sabab. Mtaani, mtaani, sabab. Anafanya kazi jijini lakini anaishi mtaani. He works in the city but he lives in the suburbs. Anafanya kazi jijini. Lakini anaishi mtaani. Chumba. Room. Chumba. Chumba. Room. Mpagazi alibeba mizigo yetu chumbani. A porter carried our bags to our room. Mpagazi alibeba mizigo yetu chumbani. Chomo, ban. Chomo, chomo, ban. Chomo langu linauma sana. My ban hurts a lot. Chomo langu linauma sana. Chesi, chess. Chesi. Che si. Chess. 
Chess ni mchezo wa lengo na umakini. Chess is a game of strategy and concentration. Chess ni mchezo wa lengo na umakini. Luga language. Luga. Lu ga. Language. Kikorea ni luga rasmi. Korean is the official language. Ki Korea ni luga rasmi. Kausha, blow dry. Kausha, kausha, blow dry. Mwana saluni ana kausha nywele ya mwana mke. The hairstylist is blow drying the woman's hair. Mwana saluni ana kausha nywele ya mwana mke. Karate. Martial arts. Karate. Karate. Martial arts. Mwalimu wetu wa karate amejifunza kwa miaka 25. Our martial arts instructor has practiced for 25 years. Mwalimu wetu wa karate amejifunza kwa miaka 25. Ridika satisfied Ridika Ridika satisfied Mwanamume ameridhika The man is satisfied Mwanamume ameridhika Tulia come Tulia to li a come bahari limetulia the ocean is calm bahari limetulia chana comb chana chana comb Mwanamke anachala nywele kwa kichana. The woman is combing her hair with a comb. Mwanamke anachana nywele kwa kichana. Kusukutua, gargle. Kusukutua. Kusukutua, gargle. Mimi husukutua mara nyingi kwa siku. I gargle several times a day. Mimi husukutua mara nyingi kwa siku. Kutoridhika. Dissatisfied. Kutoridhika. Kutoridhika. Dissatisfied. Mwanamume hajaridhika na bidhaa hiyo. The man is dissatisfied with the product. Mwanamume hajaridhika na bidhaa hiyo. Elfu tano, 5000. Elfu tano, elfu tano, 5000. Watu elfu tano walikuwa wakiandamana kwa bustani. 5000 people were protesting on the square. Watu elfu tano walikuwa wakiandamana kwa bustani. Elfu tatu, 3,000. Elfu tatu, elfu tatu, 3,000. Huko Peru kuna patikana zaidi ya aina elfu tatu za viazi. In Peru, more than 3,000 types of potatoes exist. Huko Peru kuna patikana zaidi ya aina elfu tatu za viazi. Elfu sita, 6,000. Elfu sita, elfu sita, 
6,000. Kuna karibu visiwa elf sita katika ugiriki. There are around 6,000 islands in Greece. Kuna karibu visiwa elfu sita katika ugiriki. Elfu saba, 7,000. Elfu saba, elfu saba, 7,000. Aliuza albamu elfu saba. She sold 7,000 albums. Aliuza albamu elfu saba. Elfu tisa, 9,000. Elfu tisa. Elfu tisa. 9,000. Vikosi elfu tisa zilitoka nchini. 9,000 troops withdrew from the country. Vikosi elfu tisa zilitoka nchini. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at swahilipod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Kwaheri! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Swahili. Hi everybody, my name is Getty. Welcome to the 800 core Swahili words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Swahili. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you've learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at swahilipod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Swahili. Okay, let's get started. First is Waridi. Rose. Waridi. Wa ri di. Rose. Mwanamume yu karibu kumpa mpenziwe waridi. The man is about to give roses to his girlfriend. Mwanamume yu karibu kumpa mpenziwe waridi. Ua. Flower. Ua. U. A. Ah, flower. Nyuki anachavusha uwa lanjano. The bee is pollinating the yellow flower. Nyuki anachavusha uwa lanjano. Kinanasi. Lili. Kinanasi. Ki na na si. Lili. Alinunua vinanasi njiani akielekea nyumbani. She bought some lilies on her way home. Alinunua vinanasi njiani akielekea nyumbani. Alizeti, sunflower. Alizeti. Alizeti. Sunflower. Alizeti humea kwa urefu wa futi nane hadi kuminambili. Sunflowers grow to heights between 8 to 12 feet. Alizeti humea katika urefu wa futi nane na kuminambili. Dandelioni. Dandelion. Dandelioni. Dandelioni. Dandelion. Dandelioni huliwa kwenye supu na kachumbari katika sehemu zingine. Dandelions are eaten in soups and salads in some places. Dandelioni huliwa kwenye supu na kachumbari katika sehemu zingine. Usafiri. Traveling. 
usafiri u sa fi ri traveling kozi ya mwanamume huyu ni kusafiri the man's hobby is traveling kozi ya mwanamume huyu ni kusafiri zoezi exercising zoezi zo e z exercising mwanamke anafanya zoezi kwa sakafu the woman is exercising on the floor mwanamke anafanya zoezi kwa sakafu michezo workout michezo mi che zo workout Michezo kwa dakika 30 kila siku inaweza boresha afya yako. A 30 minute workout every day can improve your health. Michezo kwa dakika 30 kila siku inaweza boresha afya yako. Soma reading. Soma. So ma reading nitakuita punde tu nitakapomaliza kusoma menu i will call you once i finish reading the menu nitakuita punde tu nitakapomaliza kusoma menu cheza kadi playing cards cheza kadi cheza kadi playing cards mara nyingi sisi hucheza kadi wakati wa jioni katika msimu wa kiangazi. We often play cards on a warm summer evening. Mara nyingi sisi hucheza kadi wakati wa jioni msimu wa kiangazi. Heresi earring. Heresi. Heresi. Earring. Heresi kubwa ni za kimtindo. Big earrings are fashionable. Heresi kubwa ni za kimtindo. Mkufu necklace. Mkufu. Mkufu necklace. Mkufu uliovaa una marembo mazuri. The necklace you are wearing has beautiful gems. Mkufu uliova una marembo mazuri. Pete ring. Pete. Pe te. Ring. Mwanamke amevaa pete la uru kwenye kidole chake cha pete. The woman is putting a diamond ring on her ring finger. Mwanamke amevaa pete la uru kwenye kidole chake cha pete. Suruali la mabondia. Boxer shorts. Suruali la mabondia. Suruali la mabondia. Boxer shorts. Suruali la mabondia ni nguo ya ndani ya mwanaume. Boxer shorts are an undergarment for men. Suruali la mabondia ni nguo ya ndani ya mwanamume. Skati. Skat. Skati. Skati. Skat. Amevaa skati ya manjano. She is wearing a yellow skirt. Amevaa sketi ya manjano hambaga 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 ziligunduliwa marekani hambagas were invented in america hambaga ziligunduliwa marekani baga jibini cheeseburger baga jibini 
baga ji bini cheese burger baga ji bini ni hamburger na slice ya jibini a cheese burger is a hamburger with a slice of cheese baga ji bini ni hamburger na slice ya jibini pizza 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 ni mlo wa italia lakini ni mlo maarufu duniani kote pizza is an italian dish but it's a popular dish around the world pizza ni mlo wa italia lakini ni mlo maarufu duniani kote hot dogi hot dog hot dogi ho t do gi hot dog Mimi hupendelea hot dogi katika barbecue I prefer hot dogs at a barbecue Mimi hupendelea hot dogi katika barbecue Kidokezi tip Kidokezi Kidokezi tip Nilimwachia mwanamali kidokezi kwa pilo. I left a tip for the maid on the pilo. Nilimwachia mwanamali kidokezi kwa pilo. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at swahilipod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Kwaheri! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Swahili. Hi everybody, my name is Getty. Welcome to the 800 core Swahili words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Swahili. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you've learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at swahilipod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Swahili. Okay, let's get started. First is Mafuriko, flood. Mafuriko, Mafuriko, flood. Gari, mtindo wa jeep, linasukumiza katika mafuriko. The jeep is pushing through the flood. Gari, mtindo wa jeep, linasukumiza katika mafuriko. Kimbunga, typhoon. Kimbunga, kimbunga, typhoon. Kimbunga kimetokea. The typhoon has hit. Kimbunga kimetokea tufani hurricane tufani tufani hurricane tufani linapulizika ndani kutoka kwenye bahari the hurricane is blowing in from the sea tufani linapulizika ndani kutoka kwenye bahari Chamchela, tornado. Chamchela, chamchela, tornado. Chamchela linasongea mjini. The tornado is approaching the town. Chamchela linasongea mjini. Ukame, drought. Ukame. Ukame, drought. 
Ukame ni janga la ukweli kwa wakulima. Drought is a real trouble for farmers. Ukame ni janga la ukweli kwa wakulima. Uislamu Islam. Uislamu Uislamu Islam. Dini ya Uislamu ilianzishwa na Nabii Muhammad. Islam was founded by the Prophet Muhammad. Dini ya Uislamu ilianzishwa na Nabii Muhammad. Uprotestanti Protestantism. Uprotestanti U Protestanti Protestantism. Uprotestanti ulianzishwa baada ya kujitenga kwa kanisa ya Katoliki ya Kirumi. Protestantism came as a break from the Roman Catholic Church. Uprotestanti ulianzishwa baada ya kujitenga kwa kanisa ya Kikatoliki ya Kirumi. Ukatoliki Catholicism. Ukatoliki. Ukatoliki. Catholicism. Ukatoliki ni dini ya wale wanaokubali uongozi wa Papa. Catholicism is the religion of those who accept the leadership of the Pope. Ukatoliki ni dini ya wale wanaokubali uongozi wa Papa. Uhindu Hinduism U Hindu U Hindu Hinduism U Hindu kutoka India unahusisha itikadi na kufufuka na kuamini miungu mingi Hinduism from India involves the belief in reincarnation and many gods U Hindu kutoka India unahusisha itikadi ya kufufuka na kuamini miungu mingi. Ubudha Buddhism Ubudha Ubudha Buddhism Ubudha unahusika na mafunzo ya Buddha aliyeelekevuka. Buddhism is based on the teachings of the Buddha the enlightened one. Ubudha unahusika na mafunzo ya Buddha aliyeelekevuka. Kifundo cha mguu uncle. Kifundo cha mguu. Kifundo cha mguu uncle. Nikidhani nimeteguka kifundo cha mguu. I think I sprained my ankle. Nikidhani nimeteguka kifundo cha mguu. Kiwiko elbow. Kiwiko kiwiko elbow. Mkono hujikunja njia moja kwa kiwiko. The arm only bends one way at the elbow. Mkono hujikunja njia moja kwa kiwiko. Fundo la mkono wrist. Fundo la mkono. Fundo la mkono wrist. Mahali maarufu kabisa kuchukua mpigo wa moyo ni kwa shingo na kwa fundo la mkono. The most common places to take a pulse at the neck and the wrist. Mahali maarufu kabisa kuchukua mpigo wa moyo ni kwa shingo na kwa fundo la mkono. Goti ni Goti Goti ni Kijana alianguka na kugwaruza goti lake. The boy fell and scraped his knees. Kijana alianguka na kugwaruza goti lake. Ngozi. Skin. Ngozi. Ngozi. Skin. 
Ngozi ndiyo sehemu kubwa sana mwilini. Skin is the largest organ in the body. Ngozi ndiyo sehemu kubwa sana mwilini. Kunyoa ndevu. Shave. Kunyoa ndevu. Kunyoa ndevu. Shave. Alisahau kunyoa ndevu asubuhi ya leo. He forgot to shave this morning. Alisahau kunyoa ndevu asubuhi ya leo. Mpishi. Chef. Mpishi. Mpishi. Chef. Mpishi anatengeneza chakula. The chef is making a meal. Mpishi anatengeneza chakula. Pasipovutwa sigara, non-smoking. Pasipovutwa sigara. Pasipovutwa sigara, non-smoking. Napendelea kukaa pasipovutwa sigara. My preference is to sit in the non-smoking section. Napendelea kukaa pasipovutwa sigara. Uvutaji sigara. Smoking. Uvutaji sigara. Uvutaji sigara. Smoking. Kuna sehemu ya kuvuta sigara iliyoshikana na mkahawa. There's a separate patio for smoking attached to the restaurant. Kuna sehemu ya kuvuta sigara iliyoshikana na mkahawa. Damu blood Damu Damu blood Papa zinashawishiwa na mnuko wa damu. The sharks are lured in by the smell of blood. Papa zinashawishiwa na mnuko wa damu. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at swahilipod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Kwaheri! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Swahili. Hi everybody, my name is Getty. Welcome to the 800 core Swahili words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Swahili. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you've learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at swahilipod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Swahili. Okay, let's get started. First is Vunja. Break. Vunja. Vunja. Break. Nilivunja sahani moja yangu nikiosha vyombo. I broke one of my plates while washing the dishes. Nilivunja sahani moja yangu nikiosha vyombo. Kidonda. Cut. Kidonda. Ki do Nda. Cut. Mvulana alianguka na anakidonda chakina kwa mguu wake. The boy fell and has a deep cut on his leg. Mvulana alianguka na anakidonda chakina kwa mguu wake. Mteguko. Sprain. Mteguko. Mteguko. Sprain. 
Mwanariadha aliteguka kwa kifundo cha mguu. The athlete sprained his ankle. Mwanariadha aliteguka kwa kifundo cha mguu. Microwave. Microwave oven. Microwave. Microwave. Microwave oven. Kifaa cha jikoni kinachofanya kazi kuwa rahisi zaidi ni microwave. The most convenient kitchen appliance is the microwave oven. Kifaa cha jikoni kinachofanya kazi kuwa rahisi zaidi ni microwave. Friji, refrigerator. Friji, friji, refrigerator. Mwanamume aliye na njaa anatafuta chakula kwenye friji. The hungry man is looking for food in the refrigerator. Mwanamume aliye na njaa anatafuta chakula kwenye friji. Kifyonza vacuum cleaner. Kifyonza Kifyonza vacuum cleaner. Kifyonza hiki Kimekimia sana. This vacuum cleaner is very quiet. Kifyonza hiki kimekimia sana. Jasho. Sweat. Jasho. Jasho. Sweat. Uso wangu hutoka jasho ni napokula chakula cha pilipili. My face sweats when I eat very spicy foods. Uso wangu hutoka jasho ninapokula chakula cha pilipili. Kuingia check in. Kuingia kuingia check in. Kuingia ni wakati mgani. What time is check in? Kuingia ni wakati mgani? Nambari ya chumba. Room number. Nambari ya chumba. Nambari ya chumba. Room number. Nambari ya chumba ni tano moja nne. Your room number is 514. Nambari ya chumba ni tano moja. Moja, nne. Ufunguo wa mlango. Room key. Ufunguo wa mlango. Ufunguo wa mlango. Room key. Usipoteze ufunguo wa mlango. Don't lose your room key. Usipoteze ufunguo wa mlango. Simu ya kuamsha. Wake up call. Simu ya kuamsha. Simu ya kuamsha. Wake up call. Jambo, ningetaka simu ya kuamsha saa kumi na mbili kasoro robo asubui. Hi, I'd like a wake up call at 15 minutes to 6 in the morning. Jambo, ningetaka simu ya kuamsha. Saa kumi na mbili kasoro robo asubuhi. Kutoka. Check out. Kutoka. Kutoka. Check out. Tafadhali toka kabla ya saa nne asubuhi. Please check out before 10 a.m. Tafadhali toka kabla ya sanne asubuhi nyepesi light nyepesi nyepesi light rangi nyepesi zinakufananisha vizuri sana light colors really suit you well rangi nyepesi zinakufananisha vizuri sana dhahabu gold dhahabu da 
ha bu gold ninataka kibeti cha rangi ya dhahabu i want a gold colored purse ninataka kibeti cha rangi ya dhahabu waridi pink waridi wa ri di pink utamu wa rangi ya waridi unawekwa kwenye keki ya strawberry ndio ni upendao zaidi the pink frosting on a strawberry cake is my favorite utamu wa rangi ya waridi unaowekwa kwenye keki ya strawberry ndio ni upendao zaidi feather silver feather fe da silver kalamu ya rangi ya feather huonekana gali the silver colored pen looks expensive kalamu ya rangi ya feather huonekana gali mchanga beige mchanga mchanga beige rangi ya mchanga ni rangi inayofanana na krimu ikiwamo na madoa doa madogo ya njano beige is a pale cream color with a yellowish tint rangi ya mchanga ni rangi inayofanana na krimu ikiwamo na madoa doa madogo ya njano fu raspberry fu fu raspberry wakati mwingine kuna wadudu kwenye fu there are sometimes worms in the raspberries wakati mwingine kuna wadudu kwenye fu kukohoa cough kukohoa kukohoa cough amekuwa akikohoa usiku kucha she has been coughing all night amekuwa akikohoa usiku kucha kitunguu saumu garlic kitunguu saumu kitunguu saumu garlic onjo na harufu ya kitunguu saumu ndizo umaarufu wake the taste and odor of garlic are its cooking trademarks onjo na harufu ya kitunguu saumu ndizo umaarufu wake well done in this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words click the link in the description and sign up for free at swahilipod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations you'll also get example sentences custom flashcard decks and more learning resources see you next time kwaheri hey everyone welcome to the monthly review the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to master 500 words with spaced repetition. If you want to speak more of the language, you'll need to know more words. But is there a best way to learn words, especially if you forget a lot of what you learn? Well, there is. Stick around. Today you'll discover the problem of learning something just once, the power of spaced repetition learning, and how to learn words fast. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the talking about where you live PDF conversation cheat sheet. Learn how to say where you live, how close or far your place is, and master over 20 words and phrases inside. 
And second, the 50 Adjectives to Describe Your Personality PDF Workbook. This bonus teaches you the 50 must-know adjectives for personalities, so you can talk about yourself in your target language. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. How to master 500 words with spaced repetition. Part one, the problem with learning something just once. If you're like most casual language learners and you're learning new words, chances are you'll look at them once or twice and never again, hoping that they'll stick. But if you wanna boost your vocabulary and say, learn 500 words in a month or two, this is not the best way to do it. And it doesn't matter if it's 500 words, 50 words, or five words. If you learn five new words right now, and one day later, I ask you what they were, you'll likely remember less than 50%, maybe one or two words. And in two days, you'll have forgotten them all. Why? That's because we naturally forget what we learn if we don't review. In fact, the rate of forgetting has been studied, documented, and graphed out by the late German psychologist Hermann Ebbinghaus, who came up with the forgetting curve, which shows the relationship between time and memory retention. So you can see just how fast you forget. It's a big drop if you don't review. Which brings us to reviewing and repetition. Reading a word or phrase once won't save it to your brain, but reviewing it from time to time will help because our brains are not like computers, but more like muscles. And this is where spaced repetition learning comes in. Part two, the power of spaced repetition learning. Spaced repetition learning simply means revisiting or coming back to review something over time. And the space between each review session gets longer and longer. So if you learned a word today, you can review it in two days, then in five days, then in seven days. That way, you review the word before you forget it, and as a result, you strengthen your memory and remember it better in the long run. But you may think, coming back to review in two, five, seven days, it's inconvenient and no normal person would remember to do that. And you're right, it's hard to do manually. Luckily, technology can do that for you, specifically spaced repetition flashcards, which you'll find in our system. Part three. How to learn with spaced repetition flashcards. These flashcards space words out based on how well you know them and test you at appropriate times so you don't forget the words. And the result is your progress skyrockets and you'll easily master 500 new words in a month or two. Now, how can you use the spaced repetition flashcards inside of our learning system? Find the flashcards in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. There, you should already have the 100 must-know words deck. That's the default deck, but you can always create others. Click on Study and Start Session to start learning. You'll get a flashcard with the word in the target language. Click on Show Answer to confirm the meaning and mark it as correct or incorrect. Based on your answer, the flashcards will start sorting the words for you. If you know a word and mark it as correct, you won't see it for another two days. But if you don't, you'll keep seeing it in that session until you get it right. So just continue reviewing the words and keep at it until the study session is done, which should only take a few minutes. Once you're done, come back tomorrow to review some more and try to drill every day because you tend to learn better when you review consistently. You can also review with three modes. One, recognition. You get the word in the target language and see if you know the meaning. Two, production. You get the meaning and see if you know it in the target language. And three, listening. You hear the pronunciation and see if you know the meaning. And you can create flashcard decks from words you learn in our lessons, the 2000 core word list, entries in your word bank, and the words and phrases in our free vocab list. Plus, there are suggested lists right below your decks to help you get started. The beauty of these flashcards is that all you have to do is put in the time until the words are stuck in your head. Don't worry about rushing or cramming. Just do a little each day, and the spaced repetition flashcards will do the rest. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to write a thousand words in five minutes a day, Daily Dose Diary. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. 
click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. You want to understand real life conversations in your target language, right? Well, what if you could immerse yourself in conversations and listen to them as much as you want, like you would music, and start understanding and speaking more of your target language? Well, you can do all of this with the dialogue track. And in this video, you'll discover how the dialogue track, one, immerses you in the language, two, helps you memorize conversations easily, and three, gets you speaking more. But if you don't have access to our lessons in the dialogue track, then sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. First, what is the dialogue track? The dialogue track is a quick 10 to 30 second audio track with just the conversation of the lesson. Let's say you're doing a five minute lesson about ordering food at a restaurant. First, you hear a conversation. Then our teachers explain every grammar rule and translate every word. And by the end, you know what it all means. Now, if you want to re-listen to that conversation without retaking the whole lesson, that's where the dialogue track comes in. It gives you just the conversation without any translations. So you can re-listen to the conversation or download to review at a later time. Second, here's what makes the dialogue track so powerful. First, you remember the conversations easier. Just listen on repeat, like you would with a song, and the words, phrases, and grammar rules will stick better. And the more you come back to re-listen, the better it will all stick. Second, you improve your listening skills and can immerse yourself in the language. Imagine you've finished 20 lessons, and you downloaded 20 dialogue tracks to your phone. That's 20 conversations. Create a playlist and play those 20 tracks as you're going about your day. You'll immerse yourself in the language and quickly improve your listening skills. Third, you start to speak more of your target language. So if you have 10, 20, or 100 dialogue tracks like that, then you have 10, 20, or 100 conversations that you'll know inside out and that you can use in real life. And as a result, you end up speaking more of your target language. So if you want to start understanding conversations, take advantage of the dialogue tracks, which are available inside every one of our audio lessons. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Want to speak more of your target language? Well, here's a completely free way to boost your vocabulary so you can understand more, speak more, and increase your fluency. In this quick guide, you'll learn all about our free vocabulary lists, how you can unlock hundreds of vocabulary lists that we give only to our users, and how you can learn new words and phrases fast without having to memorize for hours. But first, if you don't yet have access to our free vocabulary lists, be sure to sign up for a free lifetime account. Just click the link down in the description to sign up right now. So, how do these free vocabulary lists increase your fluency? Here's how. First, you can boost your vocabulary and range of expression with hundreds of vocabulary lists spanning all the must-know topics. Just look for the vocabulary lists inside the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. And there, you'll find lists for all kinds of topics, such as introducing yourself, talking about weather, the most common conversational phrases, holidays like Valentine's Day, Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, and much more. Second, you can practice your listening skills. By hearing the words at both native speed and at the slower half speed. Just click on the speaker icon next to each word to hear it at normal speed, and click a second time to hear the word at half speed, and you'll easily start understanding the word anytime you hear it. Third, you can practice your speaking skills with the voice recorder, a premium feature inside the vocabulary lists. Just click on the microphone icon to record yourself saying the word or phrase. You can also listen to the native pronunciation and your own pronunciation side by side. That way you can instantly hear how close you are to the native speaker and how to improve. Fourth, you can easily review the words with the vocabulary slideshow tool. Just click the play slideshow button at the top and sit back and listen to the words. You can also play the slideshow on loop until all of the words and phrases are stuck in your brain. And fifth, if you want to master these words even faster, you can save them to your word bank or study them with the flashcards. Both are premium features.
The word bank is your personal collection of key vocabulary, where you can also create printable vocabulary study sheets. And with flashcards, you can drill the words and retain them forever, thanks to our smart spaced repetition system. So if you want to boost your vocabulary and speak more of your target language, then get access to our free vocabulary lists. Sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.